All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. And in my, in my latest, maybe my only Lumen video, I was talking about how to, you know, light this, how I light this scene. And I was, you know, talking about how the Lumen reflections were not very, very good. Like for things like Chrome can be a little bit, you know, crude and coarse. We need something a, a little bit better, right? So my way of fixing it was, you know, go into your post-processing volume and because and will allow you to mix and match the methods so you can continue using global illumination as Lumen, you could potentially, right, change this to ray trace. And yeah, it's a complete mess when you use a skylight and this i didn't know well yeah it looks like everything is pretty wrong but there is a cure for it so fear not all right so my um logic behind it was that you could right t t take like a separate post processing volume and assign it to a small part of your scene so you can save a little bit of processing power but that is really not the way to do it so the real the real way to do it to mix ray trace reflections with lumen is by going to edit project settings and you go down to rendering and so this is like the way that lumen will work at the end so it will always have a leg in ray tracing in hardware ray tracing at least for now until everything is you know merge up and we won't need you know uh hardware ray tracing for anything or it's going to be consumed by what lumen is going to end up being so that being said all you need to do is go back go down until you see your lumen tab and there is use hardware hardware ray tracing when available for you to have this option possible you need to support hardware ray tracing and trust me we are going to still be using lumen it's not like we are you know uh faking a, a, a ray trace mixed with lumen no 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 this if you turn on this one right here and uh, this surface case should be enough. But if you want very, 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 um, let me show you the difference. Uh, you know, the highest quality should be heat lighting for reflection. And um, that's it. So you turn on use hardware um, ray tracing when available. And now it's like magic because now we do have ray trace reflections. All right, let me show you. There it is. You have everything being reflected um, onto this, you know. See, everything is being reflected correctly and you don't have that, you know, issue with everything being so washy-washy and very wrong. So again, let me show you live the change between using or not the hardware when available. So this is true Lumen, true Lumen reflection scene. And this is with uh, using hardware ray tracing when available, right? So I guess like this should be the way to always use Lumen reflections. And that should be having this leg in you know, uh, ray tracing for now, all right? So every time, if you have any, um, if you have a ray tracing capable video card, like you always should have this on, even though it will be um, a little bit harder to render um, than a pure lumen reflection because you're going to be using some ray tracing, but it's going to look the best, all right? So I hope this solve your issues with the skylight and as you see i um lighted relighted this scene with the skylight so now you see i have the skylight right here turned on 
and I have a uh, directional light and I have my sky atmosphere, all right? My clouds, everything is here so I can turn it off so you can see that it's not a trick, all right? So, all right, you know the drill. Um, love you all, be good. And I said it wrong. It's be good, love you all, and see you soon. Bye-bye.